Welcome to this fire safety video specifically relating to multi-fuel and wood burning stoves. With the help of Hotbox Stoves York, I'm going to talk through with you what you should be looking for if you are buying or renting a house with a stove already fitted or you are considering having a stove fitted. All stoves that are fitted should be fitted by either a reputable builder who should have the work signed off by the local building control department or by a qualified company like Hotbox who are regulated by HEATAS. All works carried out relating to multi-fuel or wood-burning stoves fall under Document J of the building regulations. First and foremost, if your stove has been fitted into an existing opening, the chimney flue should be checked for leaks. But it is highly recommended that a flue liner, like this, is fitted into your chimney. If you have a wood-burning stove, the flue should be a 316 stainless steel liner and if it is a multi-fuel stove, then a 904 stainless steel liner should be installed. If your stove is fitted into a recess, a non-combustible half needs to be fitted with a minimum of 300 millimeters depth in front of the stove door and a minimum of 150 millimeters either side of the half opening. The recess which your stove is going to sit needs to be made of non-combustible material and depending on the size and kilowatt of your stove, the room it is being fitted in may require ventilation. You should follow the stove maker's recommendations regarding the space required around and at the back of the stove. A closure plate should be fitted if the chimney is lined with a flue liner as previously mentioned, and a sealed register plate with access doors should be fitted to a traditional flue so the chimney can be swept. A cowl incorporating wire mesh around it should be fitted to the chimney pot to allow fire gases to escape to fresh air and stop birds entering the chimney flue. A carbon monoxide detector should be located within 3 metres of the stove to detect any carbon monoxide gases escaping into the room. Ensure the correct materials for the type of stove you are fitted are being burnt. A notice plate must be completed and permanently posted in the building when hearths or flues have been installed. The notice plate has information on it that includes name of the person and company who fitted the stove and when it was fitted, the make, model, flue type and heat output of the stove, type and size of flue, installation location. The notice plate should usually be displayed by the electric consumer meter, by the water stopcock or by the hearth or flue that it describes. Please remember to have your chimneys swept at least once a year, preferably before, stoking them up for the winter months. Thanks goes to Hotbox Stoves York for helping with the making of this informative video.